Let's talk about the big news. Taylor Swift. She has made her decision and she has announced that she will be voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. So Kamala managed to secure the uh, ultra coveted Taylor Swift endorsement. Uh, Listen, I think that celebrity endorsements, for the most part, don't actually make that big of a difference. But the reason why this one does make a difference is because Taylor Swift has a fan base that is young and they can be mobilized. And after she decided to endorse Kamala, look at what happened. Hundreds of thousands of people registered to vote. That is why you saw a bunch of conservatives making these AI generated memes about Swifties for Trump because they wanted that because that is a huge boost. Listen, you get, you know, celebrities endorsing politicians all the time, but they don't have the impact that in A-list celebrity like Taylor Swift has. And I think that only her and maybe Beyonce, they're the only two celebrities who actually would have that level of power. Like the best that Republicans get are these washed up ass celebrities like Hulk Hogan and Kid Rock and the guy from Hercules. I don't even remember his name. Um, What's his name? I don't remember. It doesn't matter because they're all washed up. So um, yeah, this is why they wanted that endorsement, but They didn't get that endorsement. And as a result, what are they doing? The thing they do the most. They're coping and seething. Prong, it's Kevin Sorbo. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I was thinking Logan for some reason, but that's, no, that's not, it wasn't even close. Um, Okay, so I'm going to show you some reactions from right-wingers. My favorite is from J.D. Vance, because what he says is so ironic, and I think that it just goes over his head. He doesn't even realize what he's saying is ironic. But just listen to what he says in response to the Taylor Swift Kamala Harris endorsement. Um, how do you speak to women voters? Um, who oh, and just I got to pause and go back just to point out, you know, she posted a photograph of herself with a cat and she signed it Taylor Swift childless cat lady. So this is kind of just like a microcosm of a bigger problem. He does not realize how many women he pissed off with the childless cat lady comment. Um, but Listen to his response. Um, how do you speak to women voters um, who obviously they uh, they care about what she thinks? Of course. Well, look, we we admire Taylor Swift's music, but I don't think most Americans, whether they like her music or fans of hers or not, are going to be influenced by a billionaire celebrity who I think is fundamentally disconnected from the interests uh, and, and, and the problems of most Americans. Look, when... Um, how- I mean, they're so shameless. My guy, you are on the ticket with Home Alone 2 star and host of The Apprentice, a game show, Donald J. Trump. They have no fucking self-awareness, no self-awareness whatsoever. Trump is a billionaire. Trump is out of touch. Trump used to shit in a gold toilet. He probably still does. I like I don't know if he has a gold toilet, but he did. You want to know who don't have gold toilets? <laughs> Just everyone else, normal working class people. It's so crazy that he thinks that he's in touch with working people or that Trump's in touch with normal Americans. It's insulting, honestly. But there's a lot more. So Megan Kelly reacted as well. And this entire time, she's just molding, embarrassingly so. I get that this is potentially a pretty massive boost to Kamala Harris. I mean, 300,000 voter registrations, that's huge. The question is, will they vote? Who knows? But either way... No celebrity that has endorsed Trump has been able to galvanize that many people. So they're fucking pissed off. And this whole time, like Megyn Kelly's talking about this, she just oozes contempt for Taylor Swift because she didn't endorse Trump. Just watch this shit. Taylor Swift just endorsed Kamala Harris. (laughs) Taylor Swift, yeah. She posts a picture of herself with her cat. Uh Would you look at this? You can, you can, of course. I'm like, you can kiss your sails to the Republican audience. Goodbye, Taylor. Hope you. (laughs) Come on. She endorsed Biden. Uh, She endorsed uh, Marsha Blackburn's opponent. And Marsha Blackburn still won. So it's not like she is a political kingmaker, right? It's just about boosting those numbers, voter registrations, particularly in swing states. And, you know, it's going to have an effect. How big? We don't necessarily know. It's not going to be a deal breaker for the election unless it's very close, which is possible. But they're just like, oh, look at her with a cat. Look at a cat. Of course. 
why why are you mad that she posted a picture with her cat? It's a cute picture. Her cat is cute. Just if you're gonna if you're gonna cope and seethe and be mad, you have to choose appropriate places to do that. But sitting here, you know, frothing at the mouth because she's she posted a picture with her cat, it's just not a good look. It makes you look unserious. But there's so much more. So I'll just I'll shut up and press play. Enjoyed them while you had them. And this is what she posts. Like many of you, I watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now's a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter to you most. As a voter, I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their proposed policies, et cetera. Recently, I was made aware that an AI of me falsely endorsing Donald Trump's presidential run was posted to its site, blah, blah, blah. And the simplest way to combat misinformation is with the truth. I will be casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. I am voting for Kamala because she fights for the rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. I think she's a steady-handed, gifted leader... And I believe we can accomplish. <laughs> can you get this shit? She thinks that Kamala Harris is a steady handed, gifted leader. What a dumbass. Kelly, you're voting for Donald Trump. And this man is not only a buffoon, but he personally insulted you. He has called you names. And you're sitting here glazing him up, caping for him like a sycophant when he doesn't even fucking like you. So speak. Spare me the fucking indignation. There's so much more in this country if we are led by calm and not chaos. I was so heartened and impressed by her selection of her running mate. Tim. Can you believe it? Another person likes Tim Walls. I, I love how they're acting like, oh my God, she likes Tim Walls. What an idiot. Look at the fucking polls. His net approval rating keeps going up and up and up. And up, and the opposite is happening when it comes to JD Vance. As more people hear about JD Vance, they're like, oh, and his approval rating goes down. As more people hear from Tim Walls, they're like, oh, okay, I like him. His approval rating goes up. So they're really in an echo chamber, and I don't know if they even realize it. Uh, most people like Tim Walls, he is the most popular person. On both tickets, out of the four people, Tim Walls is number one. He's the second most popular running mate in this entire century. Now, it's a, you know, we're only 24 years in, but nonetheless, he's very popular. So the fact that she is scoffing at that, as if this, I guess, is de it's demonstrating that Taylor Swift is so ignorant, it shows how out of touch she is. Like, she is so out of touch. She's in a bubble and nobody can penetrate that bubble. And just listen, like, they're all, like, rolling their eyes. He's shaking his head as she's reading this shit. Calm down. Like, it's not, it's really not that big of a deal. Tim Walls, Ooh. who has been standing up for LGBTQ rights, IVF, and a woman's right to her own body for decades. Oh, my God. So this woman is fine with his plan to take custody of the children from parents who don't want them to chop off their body parts and put- that's exactly where her twisted ass head goes. Oh my God, they're transing the kids. Are you gonna Are you gonna echo the same line that Trump did, Megan, where you say that they're getting uh, what is it? What she? What do you? I don't. I've got the way that he said it, but he said like they were basically getting sex change operations at schools. That's not verbatim, but he said we watched it last week that they take the kids, uh, they're gone, and then a couple days later they come back. And then 15 later, uh, years later, they're like, oh, my God, what happened to me? So I guess, like, the kids are being trans at school, unbeknownst to the parents and the kids. It's insane. And uh, yes, Megan, actually, see, that's the reason why the state exists. If a child is in an abusive environment, it is incumbent on the state to intervene and protect that child, you dumbass. But she's like, oh, <laughs> can you believe that? She wants to protect kids. She's the abuser. You inverted it, Megan. You inverted the problem. You're the abuser. Put them in Minnesota court's custody so the body parts can be chopped off and they can be sterilized outside the custody of their parents. That's what- Wait, She's like shaking her head. Oh, she's cooking right now. You guys are so stupid. You are so fucking stupid. Listen, they ran on this in 2022, 2023, and Americans rejected them because Americans don't believe that- children are getting their dicks chopped off they just don't believe that because it's it's they have a reason to not believe it it's not happening and it's one of those lies that's so absurd like they're eating the dogs and they're eating the cats that it's just like there's this visceral response where it's like oh my god i can't i can't be associated with these people they're fucking crazy it, it, that's what it's giving it's it's giving tinfoil hat vibes 
I mean, you can't you can you can say, listen, you can make the case that you think that it is bad for kids to be trans. You don't think that a minor should be prescribed HRT. You can make that case. And I would disagree with you and fight against what you're saying. But you are not even making an argument that is based in reality. You're lying. You're making it up. It's like the it's like the same uh, infanticide lie that Trump made about abortion, right? It's just fear mongering. Oh, they're killing the babies after they're born. They're not killing the babies after they're born. That would be murder. But they can't make an argument without using hyperbole. And they're too stupid to realize, too much in their echo chambers to realize that these types of lies are hurting them. But nonetheless, keep talking. Keep talking. Led Taylor Swift to endorse him. Can I tell you something? I criticized her about six months ago when she came out strongly in favor of she went to or she she went to a fundraiser to raise money for Hamas, supposedly Palestinians. But the yeah, you know, so, OK, I was just going to correct her, but she knows she knows it's a lie just to say it's for Hamas. So uh, Megan Kelly is pro genocide. Uh, very cool. Kelly, thank you very much. 40,000 plus dead at a minimum. Uh, it's probably more like 200,000 ish. If you trust the study from the Lancet that brings in indirect deaths from the, the genocide as well. But yeah, of course, she's going to criticize her for that. This one is a monster. And by the way, she's such a drama queen. Remember, she's the person who is known like she went viral back in like, what was it? 2008, 2009, because she was freaking out about black Santas. And she was like, no, kids, I can assure you Santa is white. Very weird thing to get upset about, right? Very racist thing to uh, get upset about, you know? It's it's not the hill that I would die on, but at least you're dying. She's gotten so much worse since she's been on Fox News. Like, I just got to point that out. She's so much more unhinged because she's trying to get the hits in the algorithm and it's working for her. She's crushing it on YouTube, unfortunately. But, you know, she's she's burning what little credibility she had left for views and clicks. It's the same thing that Pierce Morgan is doing. He will bring on somebody that will run circles around him and make him look like a complete moron. And um, he doesn't care. He'll humiliate himself all to get views and clicks. But I keep pausing it. Let's just finish this out because I do have more. Group that was doing the fundraising has was known to funnel the money to Hamas. And I said, I'm people sure should boycott true. her. It was an offhanded comment. People went nuts. Some lunatic dropped a note in my personal mailbox outside my house begging me not to boycott Taylor Swift as though I have that power. I'm allowed to criticize Taylor Swift and I don't give a shit who gets upset. This is disgusting. She's so she, brave. If she wants to vote Harris Walsh, she can do it all she wants. But to say the reason she's doing it is because of Tim Walls' stance on LGBTQ, <laughs> F you, Taylor Swift. Whoa. And F all of the people who want to see these children have body parts chopped off and watch them sterilized under the age of consent and then will ride off to their multi-gazillion dollar mansions never to think of them again. Emily, this is unbelievable. The left is losing its mind. She signed it Taylor Swift, childless cat lady. <laughs> I mean, talk, talk about extreme. extreme. Um, OK, there's more. Dave Rubin reacted to it as well. Uh, who did propaganda for the Russian government and was paid millions, but not paid as much as Tim Pool because he did not negotiate his contract properly. Nonetheless, uh, let's listen to uh, Dave Rubin's take on the Taylor Swift endorsement. And then let's talk a little bit about more how this fits into the cult the pop culture part of this because the pop culture is a huge driver of the cultural narrative. Um, <laughs> Well, here's the tweet from Colin Rugg about the Taylor Swift thing, and we'll get back to it in a second. So as we referenced before, Taylor Swift endorses Kamala Harris on Instagram after the debate on ABC, proudly calls herself a childish cat lady. Uh, Elon Musk, who they hate, uh, he saw that and he wrote this. Fine, Taylor, you win. I will give you a child and guard your cats with my life. So he's a... That's fucking nasty. And I have that tweet pulled up. Ready to talk about it. He's asking Taylor to uh, put a baby in her. Who tweets shit like this? When I first saw this, I think it was Brian that sent me the screenshot. I had to check. I'm like, somebody's, you know, they're, uh, they're making this up. It's, it's a fake tweet. This is rat fuckery. No, it's real. This is real. And I love how the first reply is from a blue check person who's like, if you're listening to a pop star in order to get your information on who to vote for, you're a bigger moron than uh, than they are. Uh, except the problem is that you're tweeting this to Elon Musk, who's one of the biggest morons, and he's supporting Donald Trump. 
host of The Apprentice, a game show. So they have no self-awareness whatsoever. But let's see how Dave Rubin reacts to this extremely creepy ass fucking tweet. He's mocking, he's exposing the ridiculousness, right? It's like Taylor Swift, you are a young, pretty girl. Do you know what the gang members from Venezuela do to young, pretty girls? That's the takeaway. That's the takeaway. Do you know what the gang members do to young, pretty girls like you? Uh, is it, Let me guess, is it anything like he wants to do? Is that what you're trying to insinuate? He's saying, I'll give you a baby. He wants to fuck her and he's telling her this publicly. And you're like, no, no, no. He's making fun of the immigrants. Oh, got him. By making yourself look like a creep, you're owning the immigrants. Is that how that works? Okay, okay, interesting. Girls, it ain't pretty. Uh, so what do we have to do? We just keep, ha we have to keep finding each other to whatever extent we can. We have to keep waking people up. It is the only chance we have in these remaining 60 days. And then let's talk a little- We have to keep waking each other up. Dave, you were literally paid by the Russian government to push misinformation. If you think that you are capable of waking people up or that you are privy to this, you know, wisdom that all of us lack, please enlighten us. Because all that we hear when you open your mouth is shit. You should put that shit back in your ass. Fuck you, Dave Rubin. It's so it's so bizarre. But again, they're pissed because uh, Taylor Swift got hundreds of thousands of people to register to vote. That is no small thing. Mm -hmm.